Okay, rotator cuff tears. Um, I guess you see a lot of shoulder injuries. Sure, and here's a model of the shoulder I brought uh, that I'll show you right here. This is the humerus, and this is a representation of the tendon. Uh, and the tendon comes from the back of the shoulder and inserts onto the humerus right here. Um, there are four tendons of the rotator cuff, and one of the most common is right in the front here, and that's usually where people get the tear. Um, and you can see here's the shoulder moving like this, and that's, you know, when you lift your arm up, what happens is, here we go, there's that camera right there. So what happens is this tendon uh, tears from the bone, and you get pain when you lift your arm up or reach, and, uh, and it can be a painful condition that people don't like. And here's the What's the most common mechanism of injury? I mean, who's the typical patient that would end up with a rotator cuff tear? Uh, again, it's broken up into different categories. One is a younger person with the trauma, uh, traumatic injury where they fall onto their arm or they have their arm pulled or, you know, moved in a position that can rip the tendon from the bone. Another uh, population is the older population where they just develop it over time, where this bone can actually dig down into the tendon and cause uh, cause it to just tear without any uh, event. Mm -hmm. um, a lot of people will complain of soreness, typically up in the area of the shoulder, have trouble lifting their arm, have weakness. Um, so it's hard to wash your hair in the shower, is that right? That's very difficult. Yeah. <laughs> That's one of the screening <laughs> questions I use in, in uh -huh. my office um, uh -huh. to get at what's going on with the shoulder. Um, so what kind of um, technique would you use in a, a typical rotator cuff repair? What would the surgery be like? Sure. You uh, do, again, arthroscopic surgery. You go into the joint. You look at the joint and uh, address the tear uh, to bring it back down to the bone. We, we, there are these things called suture anchors that are like little fi fish hooks that go into the bone, and we sew the tendon down to the bone. I see. Yeah. Um, is there anything else people should try before considering surgery? Sure, a lot of uh, you know shoulder surgery recovery can be extensive, so you want to be sure that the person you know is has enough pain or is you know their life is being affected by what they what, what they have. Uh, if that's the case, if it's keeping them up at night, if they can't work, if they can't carry their children, then uh, you know you definitely want to uh, try to help them. Mm -hmm. And uh, but you know you would try therapy, exercises, strengthening to see if it could get better on its own. It'll never reattach but sometimes the other muscles can, can make up for that. Okay, so it depends on the extent of the tear as well? Sure. What the treatment would right. be? 